31st of June. We're on the South Coast Road going to Port Edward. We're following some netters. And that's probably one of your good indicators to see where there's action. And then obviously the various social media platforms. Now, you guys know on ASFN, we'll do our best to uh, actually uh, keep you guys in the loop of where the fish are. We've got Jace that's on top of the sods because he, he's got one of his own netting teams. And uh, we'll be giving you regular feedback on, on actual information, not hearsay or um, maybe there's saws there or some, you know, <laughs> red eye pockets or mackerel pockets. The guys get very excited and stuff. Yesterday there were reports of guys getting quite a bit of game fish here on bait shoals. Kamara and them are actually at Shirley Avenue and Ramsgate. They're seeing small bait pockets with dolphins and fish mashing. Um, but it's about 200 meters out. So we're following, we carried on past them. Uh, we're following these netters to see where they're going. They may be, you know, at this stage of the game, it's very early days. So uh, we don't know if they've reached our shores. There's a lot of reports that there's pilot shoals and pockets coming through, but we haven't actually physically seen them, so we don't know how true it is. So we're following these guys. They might also just go to a spot, a central spot, where they can hang around and wait for information or a good lookout area where they can see the bait trolls uh, coming through and maybe they when they get in range they can have a shot at it um, i suspect they're going down to port edward um because there's very few spots here you can we pass south broom already it's on the mere now so i reckon they're going down to port, port edward um there's also a launch site there look the sardine netters are allowed to launch at most beaches through the sardine run um, we haven't seen the shark nets being lifted yet they're still out um, so yeah i think it's the very very early stages with a lot of hope that they might have reached our shores with that big big southwest we had yesterday there's also a fairly big northeast coming through today and then tomorrow another big southwest so that might bring on everything all the action and uh, we'll keep you in the loop so yeah make sure you subscribe to our channel through this period and hit the bell notification button to be updated when we upload something you immediately get notified um, and it can keep you in the action so if you're interested in the sardine run make sure you subscribe to our channel we'll only share actual real information um, no speculation or hearsay and uh, yeah let's hold thumbs and hope something today already comes through of May ticket officially the sardine run has started in Port Edward we're down here at Port Edward we took a chance drove down saw some netters followed them now I just spoke to Jace as well they did net um, some of the guys did net 80 crates here and some a bit less so it's just a bit far off there were big shoals here on the right now yeah all the way to Splash Rock and then they're moving into the bay some smaller uh, pockets of the pilot shoals are coming into the bay here. Yeah. Very exciting, you can see there's quite a few netters on the beach. Uh, sharks boards here, so I take it they've lifted the nets. I don't know, maybe today or maybe earlier already. Uh, there were a lot of speculation yesterday and some uh, spottings of bait shoals. But uh, we can confirm it's all sorts. They actually netted them. There's uh, still big stretches of pockets running here at Port Edward, quite a bit. Some pieces broke off close enough for the netters to net. They need a, you know, they need those pockets to be about, I think, 300 meters and to be able to net them. And I don't think there'll be a lot of netting going forward because there's a big, well, this northeast is picking up to about 40 k's an hour. But uh, yeah, it started, officially started, and uh, we'll go, we'll keep you guys in the loop where we can with real information. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification to get real-time updates and whenever we go live we'll also do a lot of live videos this is just our normal video we're filming and 
Yeah. If there's any action, we'll put it out for you. Do I have a fear to get going? Yeah. Guys, this is Jock he, uh, from Ibedin. He got the first net, got it 120 crates. The going rate to start off with a sardine run is 1,500 rand a crate. So yeah, officially started. Sardines are here. Good news for everybody. Port Edward Ski Boat Club. As you can see they're busy pulling out some more nets. I think about 150 crates already this morning on the first run. And now they're busy with some more. Look, the sea is starting to pick up. We've got that big nor'easter coming through a bit later today. So I don't know how much netting will still happen. And we haven't can't say there's sharks and stuff because no anglers here yet. So guys, if you if you're not at work come put a line with some fresh sides and uh, look for the action. already full up with the big sea. We're gonna try something else. We're gonna pick up a, a bit of breakfast, go through to South Broom Point to see what we can see there. Maybe we can have a throw at them there. Uh, but there's no sharks and stuff on the beach. Uh, no game fish. We saw some chases here but it's not really uh, fishing distance for us from where we are. Uh, maybe if we move to Splash, I think those guys, if they plug at it all day, they'll get fish off there. But uh, I think it's going to be the hot spot today. There'll be a lot of people here. So we're going to sneak out and see if we can find them or cut them off somewhere else.
Good morning guys and girls, 1st of June and we had probably one of the biggest storms we had in a year. The North East just started strong yesterday, the sides came out early morning at Port Edward and then the North East picked up. Through the night it didn't stop and it reached its peak this morning with literally cloud bursts. There were landslides, this morning I took a drive to Port, Ed Port Chepson, there were landslides, roads washed away and all the rivers opened up. Now. I received a bit of information and it's right here on our doorstep that it looks like there's some sods trapped between the brown water and the rocks. There's still pieces of clean water. So the rivers came down so fast, it trapped the sardines in between. Um, the sea is enormous. Um, the sea is really enormous. And uh, for, the, for the netters, it's going to be quite the challenge. And obviously, these guys have got a different level of skills when it comes to skipping and they're gonna give it a shot um, but uh, we haven't done a live update yet because we first want to confirm and we want to confirm that there are sides and that they're netted and then we'll put it out live on our channel so yeah this is part of the sardine run it's what makes it exciting it's all this little bits of information then going to investigate it and finally finding it and over the years you build up a, a network of confidante people you can trust when you receive information and uh, Jace is one of those as well and he's got his little network of people he can trust and uh, we're following up on some of the information and leads and yeah we'll go live you would have seen when, when you watch this video you would have seen the live video if anything happened but that's all part of the sardine run and we're gonna pull in here, go down to the beach, and see if any of this is gonna come to uh, come to pass. spoke about the big rains we had just brown water everywhere see it's fairly rough and again jocks on the on the money here yeah, potential money so figuring out if it's still around the shoals that might be trapped in on the inside and uh, it's further further south from here but uh, they're waiting for the other crew to arrive and then they're gonna shoot through this and have a look see if it's happening um, so yeah, this is the normal story. Hurry up and wait. Have to chase, 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 and then see for a good gap to get through and uh, get a, a net around some some sardines. Thanks, real men. <laughs> some of these skippers. The sea is quite rough, as you can see. It's an ugly bank here by Ibadine on the back, and obviously with all the rivers coming down, there's a whole bunch of debris in the bay, uh, trees and stumps. So that comes with the game. It's quite scary. Uh, what they're facing and then they'll have to shoot around and it's about a 2k run to get to the beach where they possibly trapped um, which they'll find out and then we'll move around there and show you guys what's happening there
guys, we heard uh, one of our viewers let us know there's some pockets by to 20. We just saw netters in uh, Ibadin Pamula area. Uh, we saw netters chasing past. We'll see where they turn off. Maybe they turn off at Pamula. And uh, so that's that's part of the sardine run. Just run behind them and see where they go. We've been looking for birds all this whole morning. There were some birds working here. We went down. Uh, they disappeared, so it wasn't a big bait shoal. Could have been anything. But the one at 20, I believe, has been going for, for a little while already. It doesn't look like a big shoal. But we'll see where the netters are going. Just keep an eye on them. There's <laughs> five cars between us. So we'll have a look. See, it's Saturday, the 5th of June. And we're hoping things are turning from today onwards on the sardine run. We had that horrible weather. And uh, cleared up yesterday morning. There were quite a bit of activity in Margate with the guys netting with the cast nets and having some good fun. The netters uh, put some nets out, but they didn't really get much. Um, so it was a bit of a, you know, a small pocket of sardines that broke off and washed into the bay there at Margate. Um, apparently this morning, again, there were a couple of cast netters that got some sardines there. So there were still some around. But uh, yeah, it sounds like we might be in the mid-south coast, might be operating today. Um, there's much better visibility than yesterday. So if there's shoals in certain areas, there's patches, it's cleaned up quite nicely. So if sides come through those patches, we'll be able to see them. But there are still some darker patches like here, Umzumbi River Mouth, quite brown. Um, Stabao looks clean. Point. So we'll have a look see where those guys can't launch here at uh, Mzumbi. So if they're going to launch, they'll go to to Pumula. I don't think they'll hit the single road if they were going further down than Port Chepstow. So let's have a look see. I'm going to give Jace a call. It's a red boat. Huh? The boats had to launch at Pamula, but there was salt stuck behind the rock at Banana Beach. So from Pamula we drove down and when we arrived at Banana Beach, the first net was busy being pulled out. It wasn't a lot of swords, but it's extremely difficult with the dirty water to find them and put the net around them at the right time. There's a lot of hard work guys, a lot of preparation and not easy at all. of June, some action here, they launched at Pamula, they got a small pocket here at uh, Banana Beach, managed to get out there, that's difficult access for them with the vehicles, only a few crates, I reckon about 10 crates, um, there's more boats, there's one in the surf here waiting, and there's one in the back, one is, I think one has gone around, well, it's the same boat hanging in the back that just went to check, there's small pockets moving up from 20 side, so there might be action this whole section from Banana Paula to uh, to Hibberdeen and even Ipapa that uh, there might be action today. I'll definitely, uh, you know, we do live updates. So you guys, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll receive those. Just hit the bell notification button to receive them. So we're looking for the fish. So far, no fish with them, no sharks. And as soon as we get that, You'll be the first to know.
Del, we got some fish with Del Sats here at Banana Beach. We got a guest angler, Gauri, uh, right? That brought some dowry for us. <laughs> so we can get some fish. And we're gonna get some baits out. Uh, I'm gonna show the gentleman how to hook up a sardine. And when you got fresh sardines like this, the bellies are still intact, trying not to damage your bellies. If you damage your belly, expose it to the small little fish. They'll come and feed and peck on this as quick as possible. So we're gonna keep them as whole as possible. Simple, there's two ways. One, you can go from the bottom, through the head or through the eye. So I basically do this and bring it up there at the strongest part of the head. And that keeps the sardine whole. You can throw this sardine as, just as, as he is, is single as is. and you'll get a pull. Alright? Well, we're gonna go for a shark, we're gonna put a bigger bait. So we're gonna turn. The next one, I'm gonna turn through the eye. Right? All that does is makes me put the sardine back to back. Right? And the last one, I'm going to go through the lip again. So that's basically our bait. A little bit of cotton to streamline it. And a little bit of cotton to protect the bellies. is nice and proud that's all we need right when you throw this to a streamline you get a couple of extra meters sometimes that's all you need and as you can see guys only the best don't come under guns if you want to catch and land this big fish come with the right tackle and here Daiwa Daiwa all the way <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is my first throw with the salt ego. I've never thrown it before. So, like they say, how about I make a badger? But this is a brilliant breeze. That's how it performs in the past. Now even though the bay wasn't looking that nice, it does no harm putting a bait out. You never know what's lurking in the front here in the sardine run. There's no rules when it comes to this season. You can quite easily hook pretty much anything. There was a lot of weed in the bay, which picked up the line quickly. Jay suggested to go around and take a bait out off the front where the shoal is trapped. Unfortunately again, still a lot of weed. And then all of a sardine, the boat drops a net as the shoal lifts up and almost comes around the corner. Unfortunately, the south-north current didn't push this quick enough and this net got stuck in the rocks and tore open. This was a good sized net. Yeah guys, uh, joint effort here uh, by these and GS Fisheries. The fish is far on the back line behind some rocks. Uh, we joined the team and took a shot. The fish is in the bag. Now it's basically just landing the fish. It's sitting, look at it, it's looking sitting perfect in the pockets. So basically just landing the fish and getting onto the beach. Banana Beach, fish is in the bag. Uh, we are lucky, the big swell, the fish went into the net. So that fish is safe in the bag now, it's been pulled onto the beach. Looks like quite a decent net. Finally, some action. So, the season is already two weeks old and there's rarely been a little fish. But as you can see, the guys are having a jaw and we want the public to have a jaw. They put a couple of hundred people here that's gonna have a lekker day today with sardines. And again, this net got stuck on some rocks at the bottom of this bay. And the guys have to think quick to try their best to recover it. 
A small hole in this net can mean losing all the sardines. It's a very small percentage of sardines that gets netted during a sardine run, even when the weather is perfect, conditions are perfect and the sods are here for a month. proved to be progressively better and the hopes were high to see what happens on Sunday. The first net was out early and this time at Pumula Beach. Again there was a large shoal of sardines that sat behind the point and timing had to be perfect that when they move into the bay and to the surface to make sure they get the net around. Yeah, we're down here at Pumula and a nice big pocket of fish came around the corner. There are three boats in the water and I managed to get into the third shot and I think I had a third time lucky because one guy missed, one guy got fish. But we got a decent net, I'll say about 150 crates. A lot of hard work, the current screaming, the brown water, reef, sharks. So every bit of danger you can think of is there now. The guys work extremely hard. A couple of guys could have lost their lives for sardine today because of the traditional conditions and the brown water, the rocks. But yeah, we came up trumps and one beautiful net this morning as you can see. So, it's going to be another two or three hours to float this and then, then we'll try some fishing and look for some sharks. nets in the morning there was no shark activity in the bay or any game fish that came in either guys my sods they organized for me 
get a right side now. Fresh face. <laughs> Ambassador for the Trace Sky. I was fortunate enough, uh, Niven actually handed me one of the Trace Sky uh, traces. Good quality traces, I'm actually very impressed with this here. As you guys can see, good hooks, good cable, good swivels. So, yeah, all excited. I'm going to be using this trace today. I've got my ones here too, but I'm going to give this a test. Uh, my brother was kind enough to help us drop a bait today. He's dropping with the Trident. So, yeah, the wind is going to start pumping just now. But with that drone, it's fine. So we got the first bait out. He dropped his out now. And I'm going to rig up and I'm going to drop mines as well. So, so far, no sharks in the front after the nets are out. But there is some activity in the deep. So we're going to drop baits in the deep for now. I hope to go fast. See you guys soon when we go tight. Cheers. Hey guys, yeah, action here at Pumula. I'm here with uh, Kiran, huh? Yeah. Kiran from Toji. Uh, you dropped this bit how far? About 400 meters. 400 meter drop, we got a pull. Looks like a decent fish. He's got the right tackle, as you guys can see. Proper yeah. sardine on tackle. We are ready, yeah. Uh, what do you expect? You expect it to be a grey? Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, a decent grey. Uh, that's good, man. That's good. So, yeah, finally, action picked up here. So, someone's eventually tight. There's more rods in the water going in now. So we all hope we all can go tight just like him. So all the best. Man, thanks, man. I'll see you in the fishing yeah, fun. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, we got the fish right here on the on the on the back wash. Giving us a hard time here. Uh, the wash is quite deep as well. So the fish is just hanging there, going back and forth. But it's in grabbing distance now. So we just need to get a hold of the needle and then we can pull it forward. <laughs> We've got plenty of guys helping, which is good. We like that in the side, not all the guys are coming together. And uh, it's not being a competitive thing. The guys are enjoying the sport, they're helping everyone. So that's good. Okay. Uh, kid is doing well with, with fighting this fish over there. And he's holding up perfect. There we go. Yeah. So we're right here now. It wasn't long for the first drone angler to go tight, which was a great sign because up to now we didn't see any fish being hooked. Not that the sea actually allowed you to fish.
so the seal is broken and after this several sharks was hooked unfortunately we don't have it on camera but a gray shark of over 200 kilos was also landed when it falls on you your blood runs cold but don't you sweat your pretty skin because it melts away from